Okay, okay, okay. The controllable laser. A lot of people have been asking for this, and I covered the basics for making your own little movable laser, so I'm gonna make it so you can control it. Now right now I have the uh, wobbly floor and controllable laser level opened up, and see here I have on the screen, or several screens here, they're just prop statics, with a large funk monitor spread across it, or across all of them, so with the, uh, let's see here, TV monitor texture applied to it, connected to a camera, which is attached to the laser at the other end of the map. I'll get to that in a moment. So, what makes this thing tick? Right here we have a funk tank. Uh, yes, I called it Flamethrower, I copied it, the basic entity work out of another map I did for Half-Life 2 Deathmatch and uh, repurposed it for this map. Didn't really want to be creative with names, just wanted to get stuff working. So. We have the funk tank right here, and it's control volume back here, the flamethrower trigger. Now, when you activate the funk tank, of course, it's going to turn on the laser, activate the thing that makes this thing work, which if I zoom in on it, is this little entity down here called logic measure movement. Now, it takes an entity measure, entity move, and references for both. If you don't have a reference for both, then it doesn't really know how to apply what you want, how, the motion that you want, and things can get kind of weird. So, for the measure reference, I have it tucked right in the center on this info target for the funk tank. And for the entity I want to move, which is the laser, mark here and uh, control shift E, that'll center the camera on whatever entity I selected, just so you know. I have the laser over here in the other room with the funk tank somewhere around here. If I move in, there it is. Right in the middle of it all is the laser reference. And yes, my camera's upside down. I did some weird stuff with uh, angles, so everything came up upside down in the camera, so easy solution, flip the camera, instead of figure out what's wrong. I know, bad, but hey. Now, that's pretty much it. I see pretty much a lot, don't I? Anyways, let's get started. Now, the cuts some time I already created and hollowed out a room, just to save that extra five minutes, or is it three? Eh. Other one. So, I'm not going to cover how to do the camera thing. That, that relatively simple and there's a lot of tutorials online so I'm not gonna reinvent the wheel for you guys. Uh, let's get some dev textures up. And okay. I'm gonna start off with making the funk tank. Let's put this in the center here. I know, exciting, isn't it? Okay, so that's there. Let's tie it to a funk tank entity. Give it a name. Let's not call it Flamethrower this time around. How about the very original name of Laser Control? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, so I'm gonna increase the rate at which this thing spins so if, that way you don't have to wait for the laser to move with you. Let's go to good range. Both here, let's cut that down so it doesn't spin all the way around. And now down to here, here's some, this is gonna be a little different. Um, okay, go in your pose parameter. In here, you're going to put aim, yaw. And same for here, except for you're going to go aim, pitch. This will make it so wherever the player mo looks, the funk tank will move to look at it. Which is ever so helpful. And before I forget, let's flag it as controllable so the player can actually use it. And now, let's make the control volume for it so we can actually control it. Okay, let's shorten it up a bit. And, oh, well, that'll work. A bit taller, a bit fluffy. Okay, now let's make this a standard trigger multiple. Don't need to add any I.O. to this whatsoever. All you have to do to this trigger multiple is give it a name. Laser control, Volume. Okay, now back into the funk tank over here, our laser control. 
these little key value control volume. So click on the eyedropper here and click on in the camera view on the trigger, apply, and now if I were to compile this map and jump on in, we'd have a controllable laser. So you know why don't I do that right now? Just to show what's going on. Alright, portal twos are in there somewhere. There it is. So let's see here. Enable cheats for a moment and show the triggers. So if I walk in, if I don't walk into that trigger and use this, it won't do a thing. However, if I walk into the trigger and use it, there we go. Something that'll move about. And the you can move away from it and actually have it work, so if you plan on using this, be aware of that. That's why in my map I had a little button there so players would go, oh, I must press this button to disengage. Hopefully none of you kind of backed out and went, oh, check it out and cl control this laser from the back of the room. Not attended, but didn't really try to stop it either. Okay. That's all fine and dandy, but now let's get this laser going. So, put it up in here. Let's raise it off the ground a bit. And put a little back to it. Nope. Wrong trigger. Texture. No. Ah, uh, thing. Hammer. I have the dev texture in the thumbnail preview with tools trigger selected as a current texture. What's wrong with this picture? <sighs> okay. Oh, this will let me show you something else. If you open up the face edit tool here, I have the ref reflectivity 20 selected. Now, if I go to the camera view, hold shift and right click, that'll color the, or apply the texture to the entire brush. Saves on right clicking on all six faces. Do you agree? Now, for this one, I want it to be a funk brush. Tied to a funk brush. And let's give it a name for the to be referenced by the logic measure movement later on. Uh, laser base. Lowercase a. Okay. Now, let's add up some targets around here so we have uh, references. Now, where do I want this? Uh, okay, hammer. No, it's, not, it's on a good size of 8. So if I bring down to 4. I'll put it on the center and put it right down the middle. That should be fine. Let's give this a name, laser reference, or laser control reference. Yes, I did forget to do one thing, which is parent the laser to the brush. However, I can still do that now. Okay, that's in the center of that brush. Let's open this up and let's name it something else. Laser base reference. Now, here, click on the laser, and there's the parent key value. Let's parent it to laser base. All right, time for the ever so important measure movement. Oops, ease, no. This thing will start automatically, so I won't bother giving it a name and sending it an enable input, but you can have it start disabled and go that way if you want it as an element that the player will have to activate later on. So right now, energy to measure. I want to measure the funk tank that we made, laser control, and put it with the reference that we stuck in the middle of it. Now, I want to move the laser base relative to the info target we stuffed over here. Okay. Let's give it a compile. Oh, white. That's new. Portal 2. I use this now. Uh, come on now. There we go. Oh, standing a little too close. There we have it. A controllable laser. You can check the function to be not solid, that way you don't have this problem. I think I did that in the test map as well. So, if you want to avoid having the player bounce up and down like that, uh, Flag is not solid and have a different solid object the other player can clip with. Okay, so this is all nice and good if the laser is facing the same direction as the funk tank. Which, if you saw the, uh, if you remember from seeing the uh, test map, 
in the source, it clearly would not face in the same direction. So let's fix that. And give ourselves a little target, just because I don't like these guys. <laughs> okay, that was terrible, but hey. Let's have him face the back here. Yep. Move him up a little. Alright. So, the logical assumption would be to take the base and the laser and rotate them around. Oh, grab the reference as well, and just do this. However, let's see what happens if you do that. Okay, it's facing that direction. Good. I can go over here, start using this. Up. Oh, there's a problem. It's rotating on the wrong axis. Ah, sucker. No. Um, so, we can still go left and right, side to side, but going up and down doesn't work. So, ignore the sucker comment, I'm just giddy. Let's undo the rotation. Now, instead of rotating it, to take this, the reference, and change the angle. See, angle is zero right now. This yellow line is pointing to the right. If we want the laser to point at the turret, we can bring it down there. I don't need to change anything about the laser base, the funk brush, or the laser itself. I just need to change the reference so the relative direction is constant. Uh, no, sorry, the relative direction of movement is what you want. So if I move the, the laser tank left or right, it'll move left or right, but if I move it up and down, this will correct it. Little fumb fumbling a bit on my words here, but uh, stick with me. If you can. Let's give it a compile and hop back into Portal 2. Okay. Let's try this again. And there you have it. Not facing the same directions, can still move left and right, and up and down, and because he's just begging for it. There. You can make this face any direction, up, down, left, right, anywhere you want the laser to point, just change the reference that's attached to it, and the logic measure movement will take care of the rest. Just also be careful if you rotate the uh, funk tank and hammer that the angles still line up, or else you can get some weird rotations out of it, and they'll just compound. But that is it. Can move laser around, as you saw, still does damage. And I hope this was helpful, and I'm curious to see what you guys do with it. If you do anything with it at all. Thank you very much, and see you next time.